Why do we love the photographs of the coaching and general manager home draft setups? Why? I I, I just think because it makes them like us. That yeah, because like I think because like it, we all have our own you know quote unquote man caves and the way we watch games and have our setups with the multiple screens. Sure. So now that they're being forced to quote to do it, right? We're curious like. What, what does, does it, it look, look like? What does Where it look are you like? Be? How is it set up? Do you have any monitors? What's the TV, the phone situation, and the outlets, and right. the drinks, and the binders? Is your is your computer table shoved up against these two red doors in a basement <laughs> where the strings on your on your window blinds are so long that they they hang down? For instance, right there, there's big red with a red couch and a red door. It's just a whole red setup right there for the Chiefs' Super Bowl winning head coach. Red door, red. Red couch, red binder, um, auxiliary Big table. Red. There you go. You saw that. That's a Peter, that is an ox Peter King put that <laughs> one out. Auxiliary table. Yeah. Then we just saw one after another, after another, one after another, after another, and um, and we got uh, three in yesterday. Do you want to get to those? Let's do those, Don. So we got three in yesterday. Uh, okay, let's go. First up, we got uh, we got our, our our buddy Les Snead in Los Angeles, California. He's in a bunk room, and we asked. I asked Les, let's get it in here. So Les needs in his bunk room, and through these double doors, there's the uh, there's like a pool situation. Take looks, a quick dip. In yeah, between it looks, it looks absolutely beautiful with Les Need out there. There Look it at is. That. Look at that. That is. A setup. And he doesn't have a yep. first round pick, so go take a dip. Go yep. can, Just cannonball. Relax. Cannonball. Cool. Catch some rays. Right. Yep. There you go. Make sure you sunscreen. Oh, then look at the, the new Ram setup right there. Uh, John Schneider, I asked it, let's stay in the same division, right? NFC West. John Schneider, beautifully hey, appointed draft setup. Look at that. Those chairs. He has commandeered what looks like to be uh, a dining situation. Very beautiful. Shoes off. Definitely. Look at that shoes carpet. Off. Shoes off. Yeah. That's no the draft the board that he's got right there. So he's using the old grease board. That's old school right there. Uh, then Thomas Dimitrov, you want to talk about finally appointed. We thought this would be the most finally appointed. And um, and then uh, he took an issue because we joked about the throw pillow. That okay. was oh the, yes, the we Caesar did. couch. Well, I the, for, it. He, he he was buttering us up. He gave us two angles by putting my my face on it, like saying yeah. that he was trying to get a speed burner. Right. Do you have the other photograph there, Don? That you could call up for a second. It's the other Reverse angle that angle. he took a pro, he took issue with. Saying that we called it a throw pillow on his blue yeah, man there couch is. right what? there. there throw pillow. Throw pillow. That's, he that wrote is. this. He texted this to me this morning. <laughs> he texted me this this morning when he called during the YouTube stream. Thanks for watching, Thomas. Can you tell your fan base I vehemently disagree with your assessment of my pillow situation as a throw pillow? He wrote, "It's an." I'll, I'll tell you. He worked blue. It's an effing back support pillow for a really deep throne-like seating arrangement. Well, that is like a Caesar couch right there. That's like Napoleon's throne. My God. Like somebody should feed him grapes when he's on the clock. (laughs) Right? Right. That's good. All right. So now I decided let's reach out. Okay. Oh, okay. Not wait. Let's reach out. I reached out to three more. Cannot wait. Reached out to three more. This is the head coach of the New Orleans Saints. Right. Oh, yes. John Payton. Sean Payton now sent calling. me this one Look yesterday. Oh, there you go. And dogs. Look at Sean Payton's setup right there. Wins with the dogs. He even has the circle light in the corner I for said, TV hits. Who are the dogs? He's not- <laughs> who are the dogs? And he said, my underdog picks. That's Murph, the brown dog, and Fran, black and white. There you go. That's a two-dog situation. Look at the IT setup in the, the corner. Helmet right there. underneath the, the TV. He's got that helmet right there. Oh. Look at that. No, the stand. It looks like an. Uh, is it's that a circle a light? Is that a, what is? It? It's a circle it's light. Got a light for, uh, little phone. TV hits. Yeah. yeah. Oh, TV hits. Yeah. Okay. So what does he have? Three screens and a couple there of computers. That's Sean Payton setup. Impressive. He's got. By the way, and he has the dogs pose and everything. It's I appreciate well that, done. Sean Payton. Well done. Well done, Sean yeah. Payton. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I asked the Pro Football Hall of Famer himself. The president of football Ooh, operations wow. of your Denver Broncos. That's John oh, Elway's setup. Wow. Okay. That is that John good. Elway's beautiful setup. Those look, like all his, those uh, three, look at the four, desk. Five. Look at the chair. He's, First off, that looks like his attic, right? Or the third floor, or the top floor of his house. He yeah, said, with the roof. did it in my family room because it gave me a lot of room. Us old guys don't have to worry about kids running around. 
Seven Smart. screens, and then it looks like two more in the, in the uh, foreground. But look at the, the, the wow. vase. Now, is it a vase situation or a vase situation? Look at the top there. It's a vase, vase. situation. That's some vase. Seri- that looks like some serious situation. pottery at the top right there. You want to text him back about now, the now then, pottery? Uh-oh. You requested Mike Mayock. We did. We did. I texted Mike Mayock, and I texted Mike. I said the following to Mike. I'm like, you know, hey, look, many are probably texting you for information, but that's not me. What's me is I'm asking everybody for their home draft setup. Would you mind taking a photograph of it? And I got from Mayock this photograph. (laughs) (laughs) I got this from Mike Mayock pointing out that that is the city of San Francisco (laughs) across the water. Okay. (laughs) SF in background, my draft room. I said... Not your view from your draft room, your actual setup. Like you cracked me up, man. Et cetera. To which he then responds, I know what you meant. <laughs> I love Mayock. Dot, dot, oh. dot. So not even going to play along? Oh, That's how Mayock played along. We want Belichick. That was the end. Oh, by the way, you say you want Belichick. Did you, you ex- text Bill? Yeah. Yes or oh, no, no. no? No way. You had Rich. This is why I don't listen to you two schmohawks. Good use of the word With all due respect. I'll tell you. I forgot. I for sure with all due we respect. Should have, yeah. before. On the front end. Yeah. Thank you. If I had listened to you and texted Bill Belichick oh my this request, it would have happened <laughs> right in the middle of right. him finishing the trade for Gronk. What? If you want to talk about the worst possible time wow. for me to have followed your advice, that would happen. Have to be it. Counterpoint. Yep. You would have caught Bill in a good mood. Yeah. Because he got a fourth round pick okay. for yeah, nothing. For nothing. He's for right. nothing. <laughs> okay. So good mood, Belichick. Uh, hey, look, yeah. everybody. I know we're all crossing T's and dot and I and sending Gronk to Brady in Tampa, but would you guys mind moving that situation out? Because I got to take a picture for the Rich Eisen show and their associated <laughs> social media platforms. Great idea, guys. I mean, could I have flushed all of the credibility down the I toilet think, at that no, moment? Because I think happened. you underestimate Bill's sense of humor Maybe. for things like this. When he wins the Emmy, you hand him the Emmy, all things are forgiven. At the same time, I think I accurately assessed Mike Mayock's sense of humor. I yes, mean, he, did. <laughs> he took a picture out of his window. I knew what you meant. I knew what I you mean. meant. That is. Guys, guys, guys. The more Mayock. things change, the more they stay the Mayock. same. Right? Mayock. Right? I will be undaunted. I will text him again. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.